Well, now to a sign of hope in what's been a crisis of violence all across the country ever since the COVID-19 pandemic. A new report digging into crime data all around America shows that gun violence in Philadelphia is dropping at a faster rate than any other major American city. And in cities from coast to coast, violence involving guns is down by double digits. Action News reporter Charles Watson has the numbers tonight and the reasons behind them. Philadelphia is moving in the right direction. After the COVID-19 pandemics and gun violence skyrocketing across the city, Philadelphia is seeing those numbers plummet faster than any other large city in the country, according to a think tank group. That's welcome news for Mayor Parker, who says her investment in a holistic approach will continue to pay off for the city. Our budget is making investments in areas that help to put people on the path to self-sufficiency. According to a new analysis from the Center for American Progress, gun violence in Philadelphia through April of this year dropped 16 percent, exceeding a 13 percent decline nationally. We had the Action News data journalism team confirm the numbers, and it found the gap widened when comparing the city's 36 percent drop in shooting homicides through yesterday to the 13 percent decline nationally. It is not just, you know, cops on the ground uh, to save our communities. At least some of the downward trend is attributed to a return to normal following the pandemic. Pandemic, but it also points to hundreds of millions of dollars that are being poured into communities to address public safety and public health. Chandler Hall, a senior policy analyst for the Center for American Progress, specifically points out Biden administration policies like the American Rescue Plan and the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act as growing contributors in the fight against gun violence. Those have much more long term sustainable effects. Some question the organization's impartiality because of its ties to several Democratic administrations, but Hall says the numbers don't lie. There are Republican cities, there are Democratic cities in that 50 states. Now, Hall says he does expect a slight rise in gun violence during the summer months, but he says he believes those numbers will begin to drop as we head into the fall and winter, which could help sustain the declining trend that we're currently seeing. And Spring Garden, Charles Watson, Channel 6, Action News. A reason for optimism there. Well, nursing.